Where you are, are they closer around you? Yes. They are closer around you. Yeah, but it's predominantly African speaking. But so they I'm are closer, closer around, around you. Yes. I'm asking you this. When you stood up, I saw pains in your legs. I didn't feel them. I saw them. Okay. But I'm okay now. Yes. You're okay, I know. But I saw pains in your legs because all the time when you want to stand up, it's like you you feel something that is like a muzzle pull, but it's not a muzzle pull. It's like something, when you stand up, something pulls you back a bit. That's what I saw when you, when you stood up. Oh. Are you hearing me? I Another hear thing, I want us to pray for your household. Correct. Mm? Mm. Because what is happening in your house, it's, it's not good. It's true. Mm? It's true. And now you, it's like you've, you are giving up hope that things will ever become right. It's correct. So I want us to pray that God can restore your home. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing you. I want us to pray so that God can restore your home. Hmm? Yeah. You are an elderly person. I can, if you were young, I would point out some things that are happening. But okay. my cautious won't allow me because you are a father to me. All right. You understand? Yeah. So I want us to pray so that God can change this situation. So you can have peace. Because if things continue like this, it will cost you your health. Oh. Hmm? Yeah. Are you hearing me? I'm hearing Because you. it has already started. Hmm? Because um, it's like there are times when you find it hard to fall asleep. Please talk to me, sir. Correct. Huh? Correct. It's because I'm seeing you struggling to fall asleep. Doing what my husband does when he wants to fall asleep. Because now this thing, it's now starting to cost you your health. And if care is not taken, we will lose your health. Correct. Hmm? So I want us to pray. I want to pray with you for God to intervene in the situation. Do you understand what I'm saying, sir? I hear you. Do you understand me, though? I understand you. Okay. I want us to pray so that God will intervene in your situation and God will heal you. Because at your age, peace is what you need all the time. Correct. Hmm? Correct. You, ca you, can't, you can't be living in this noisy situation all the time. It's not good for you. So I want us to pray. God is going to intervene and is going to do something and change the situation. Correct. Can I pray with you now? You may. Please close your eyes. In Jesus' name. Say you are free. Say, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy. Yeah, I'm David, my name. My son name is Moreo Tatan from the Northern Cape in Kimberley. Yeah, the prophecy in, st in terms of my health, yeah, for the past two weeks I've been attended to with regard to my eyes, uh, which is like just put a lot of stress and tensions, I'm not certain, yeah. And all these things that you were facing, how did they affect you? Yeah, they did affect me negatively at work. Mm. 
and you also saw Apostle J.B. Maganza. How was it? Yeah, I saw I saw the man of God. Yeah, what he prophesied is what came out here. Yeah. No, I'm feeling okay. I'm confirming after those things will be well. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? The words of encouragement that I can give to people is people must must reach out to seek the face of the Lord. Amen. We need to pray for you. Amen. And we also need to pray for marriage issues. It's true. Huh? It's true. I don't know what you're doing, but I was just hearing that we need to pray because there's also a grace of God in your life. It's true. Which is something that you're crying for. It's true. Huh? It's true. You want to be a pastor? Yes. But you need to be serious. One of the things that you need to be careful about, be careful about ladies. It's true. I saw a spirit of lust. It's that, true. That spirit wants to attack you. It's true. You understand my point? It's true. But if you resist that, you'll see what God will do. Amen. Huh? Amen. So which church are you going to? I was worshipping with the synagogue when I was in Nigeria. When I was in Switzerland, I go to redeem. But you've got this thing that you want God to use you. Yes, huh? it's true. You want to be a prophet. It's true. Huh? I was told. You were told by who? <laughs> I was told by a lot of people. But what you need to do, you need to be serious. You heard what I said? Okay, man of God. Because I saw your spirit in the whole of your family. I think you will be number one. Because many people from the side of your family, they are worshipping things. Idols. Huh? It's true. They are worshipping idols. And this idol is fighting all of you. It's true. That's why many of you, you are in different places. It's true. Huh? So, but I want to pray for you. I want God to do this thing for you. Amen. But you need to be serious. You need to marry. I'm planning that. Huh? I'm planning to marry, but I have when? another challenge. The problem is money. It's true. Huh? Everything was scattered. The reason why everything is scattered is because God wanted you to be serious about it's your salvation. It's true. If you become serious, you dedicate yourself, you'll see what God will do for you. Amen. You understand my point? Yes. Even what you are crying for, it will happen. Amen. But. Do you hear what I said? Yes. But. But. Leave ladies. Amen. If you do that, you'll see what God will do for you. Amen. You understand me? Yes. Because sometimes ladies, ladies are there to disturb us. It's true. To the destiny that we have to go to. But if you stop that, you'll see what God will do. Amen. You understand my point? Yes. When you go back home, God will give you money. You'll go, you'll marry. Amen. I receive. You'll marry. Amen. You heard me? Yes. You'll marry. Amen. And I also pray for you. God will use you. But Amen. relax for now. Relax. It's true God wants to do it, but relax. Amen. You will see what God will do. Amen. Come out! Come out! Come out! Come out! So you went to synagogue? Huh? Yes. When? I used to worship there any time I'm in Nigeria. God is going to. I'm seeing money that is coming. Amen. Because you are doing business. Yes. Huh? I opened a company, but it's huh? not working. I'm seeing a business that you're doing. Yes, I have the document here. Bring the documents. Thank you, Jesus. Let me pray for, for these documents. Bring them in. So I'll pray for these documents, but when money comes, be careful of ladies. I'm still saying it again. 
true. They because that's what devil want to do. You know, sometimes ladies, they come to you. They come, it's, huh? true. it's true. You know, they propose you. It's true. Huh? It's true. So, it's something that you need to avoid. You know, for your life to continue, you know, for your life to move forward. Amen. But if you don't do what I'm telling you, you'll end up dying before time. Because it's true, there's money that is coming. Amen. There's a lot of money. It will even lead you opening shops. It's true. Huh? I was told before. It's I'm true. even seeing that you, you end up having shops of clothes. Amen. Huh? So I want to pray for you so that God must do this thing, but be careful. Amen. It's a warning. Be careful. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. You don't have children? No. no. There was never a lady that was pregnant by you? Yes, but she, huh? yeah, but she lost the baby. Uh, that's why I'm asking you. Yeah. I can't ask you if God doesn't, it's not telling me anything. It's true. I'm seeing a child. It's true. Huh? It's true. That's the reason why I'm saying you don't have children. I'm seeing a child. It's true. Huh? The child died. No, I was in Nigeria then. When I went to Europe, she aborted the baby. It was six she months. She aborted the baby? Yes. You're free, sir. You're free. Sir, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received today from the prophet of God today, whether it was true or not. It was true. My name is George Kolila Lisa. I'm originally from Nigeria, but I reside in Switzerland. Why are you saying it's true? Because everything he said is true. Uh, he talked about uh, the business I opened, which is true. He talked about the lady that was pregnant for me, and she lost the baby. It was true as well. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm good. Happy. Also saw Apostle JB Makaran sound on one-on-one -on -one session. How was it? It was good. He, I came here because I want to confirm the calling of God on my life and, and I need a financial breakthrough as well. He confirmed that as well. I feel so good. I feel uh, the anointing is heavy. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to other servants of God out there? I pray that God will direct them to the right place. I was in a lot of places before, but uh, God himself revealed me for me to come to Charis and uh, I have to come here. It's a, it's a great experience and uh, in my life is the, it's the, the best thing that have ever happened to my life. We give glory to Jesus. I believe that you are blessed. You are free in Jesus' name. Amen. Who wants to marry you? Uh, I don't know because my boyfriend, he left. Your boyfriend left you. When? In January, February. It's good for you. Mm. It's good for you. How old are you? I'm 26. It's good for you that he left you. Because if he didn't leave you, you're going to have a baby not long. And then he was going to run away and leave you with a baby. You understand? Are you a Christian? Yes, I am. Which church are you going? Greater Grace Tabernacle. Can I ask you a question? I wish I cannot ask you, but let me ask you. It's fine. You're a Christian, Abby? Mm. So what are you doing with a boyfriend who's not a Christian? He's not a Christian. Mm. He was a he is a Christian. The are one that sure? left. Are you sure? Well, yeah. He says he's saved, but uh, his family goes to a Zion leave, church. Leave his, leave his family. What are you doing with a non-Christian? I know. I thought he is a Christian. We go to church together. Mm. We go to church together. Mm. But when you get home, yes. you are husband and wife. <laughs> I'm asking. Something like that. 
It's not something like this. It's either it is or it's not. Uh, yes. <coughs> Can you give your life back to Christ? A right person will come for you. Okay, prophetess. I know you want me to tell you that he's coming back. He's not coming back. Okay. Unfortunately. Thank you so much. He's not. I know he's going to try to come back. He's trying to do that. When he does, be go run for your life. You understand me? Yeah. Run for your life. Remember the Bible says when you are an Israelite, you don't marry from Canaan. You marry from Israel. When you're a Christian, you don't marry from the street or a beer palo. You marry from the church. To tell you the truth, your future is bright. Hmm? It's true. Your future is very bright. But the problem is that your focus is outside those doors. Okay. Hmm? If you bring back your focus, you are going to get a job, the one you are wanting. You want. Hmm? You are going to meet a right partner who will marry you and take care of you. Not the one who will become your husband for five minutes and leave you for two weeks and come back after two weeks. Stay with you for three seconds and leave you for three months. <laughs> you understand me? Yes, prophetess. Come back to church. Where is your mom? She's at home. She's at home. Hmm. Your mother is very worried about you. I know. You know. I'm so what are you doing about her. it? This one that you know. What are you doing about it? There's nothing that I can do. I'm not working. Fix your life with God. That's what she's worried about. I'm trying not to do that it. you are working. Okay. Fix your life with God. Okay. You will see God will bless you. You will live a good and prosperous life. You hear? A right partner will come your way. But don't judge a book by its cover. Because that's your problem. You hear? Yes. Don't, I'm talking to you like a sister now. Don't judge a book by its cover. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I am. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Don't judge a book by its cover. Because that's the problem you have. But prophetess, well, how am I going to know that he's the right one? I don't want to go up and down with different people all the time. When you're in church, you, there's no way you can miss whether the person said is right or wrong. He was also in church. Uh, but when you got home, he was your husband now. Okay. I understand. Sex before marriage is a sin. Okay. That's rule number one. Mm. Sex before marriage is a sin. Rule number two, are you a Christian? Yes or no? Yes. If you are having a job, do you tithe? No, you are not a Christian. You can't be a Christian who lives outside the principles of the Bible. Okay. You are not a Christian. You are Christian-like. A Christian lives by the, by the laws and principles of the Bible. Yes. Let me say this to you for the last time. Don't judge a book by its cover. God knows why he brings a certain person in your life. What's important is where you are going. It's not where you are. And where you are going has nothing to do with how you can get yourself there. If you are trying to get yourself there, then it's, it's not the right one. The right one, God takes you to it. Yes. Isn't that you want to be married to a pastor? Is in need that you want to be married to a pastor? Yes. So how are you going to find a pastor in the streets? 
I want you to fix, I'm not trying to shame you. I'm talking to you like my younger sister. I want you to fix your life and give it to God. Can I tell you a story? Yeah. When I married my husband, he was a taxi driver. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's his taxi driver. DH07 FHGP. That was the number plate of his tribe. taxi was driving. He was a taxi driver. Not a pastor. <laughs> I understand. He was a what? Taxi driver. Oh, so if I had judged him by his profession, would I be married today? No. Oh, thank God you understand. <laughs> but look at him today. His job was to carry you people to the guest house and from park station and whenever. That was his job. Now he's coming from America. He came back with dollars and gave me. <laughs> I was at home sleeping. He was waking. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. Where you are going has everything to do with what... If you miss a step now, you won't reach where you are going. There are no shortcuts to these things. There's no shortcut. There's no double up. It's one way. Only God's way. Yes. Because that's... I'm talking to you because that's what the devil is using to get to you. Mm. Mm. Because now you feel, because I, can't, I don't have a job, if I have somebody to take care of me, life will be better. Mm. Eh? Yes. Isn't it? It's true. So it's not about who's taking care of you. It's about what God is saying about you. You understand? So I want you to pray. God will bring the right men to you. Leave those ones who are outside. Your own is inside. You understand me? Mm. Pray God will give you the right partner. Hmm? Yes. Because that's the only thing, to tell you the truth, that is delaying you. That is the only thing that is delaying you. Remember there was a guy who is now a servant of God who once wanted you. But by then, he was a nobody. Hmm? Mm. You remember now? Yes. You remember the person I'm talking about? They were too. Uh -huh. So if you had said yes back then, not looking at how they look, where do you think you would be now? Uh, but there was a big gap of age difference. I'm not talking about age. If you had said yes now, where do you think you would be now? That's my question. Far, maybe. Let me give you, tell you the last thing. That is destroyed, that is disturbing you. Your friends. Am I lying? Mm, no. You know. It's either a no or a yes. It's not a no. Mm -mm. Am I lying? No, you're not lying. Thank you. Your friends. If your friend is not part of what is going to happen to you there, there's no point of dragging them along because you won't reach anyway where you are going. Okay. Get rid of bad friends. Good. You, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. You know what I say? You want a man with a car, go get one for yourself. You want a man with money, go get one for yourself. Don't shine in my spotlight. Go get one for yourself. Get rid of bad friends. God will take you far. You hear me?
you are free. God is going to give you a job you will take off your mother. Don't forget what I said. Can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also confirm the prophecy that you received today? Oh, my name is Skelet Omatata. I come from Pretoria. Mm -hmm. The prophecy that you received today, is it true or not? Yes, it is true. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a boyfriend that left, so he also goes and comes and goes and comes. So I actually don't know where we stand and all of that. So the prophet told me that I must just forget about it because a, a, a right partner is coming in my life. Mm -hmm. And how are you feeling about the prophecy that you received today? I'm feeling great and happy. Mm -hmm. And you also saw the man of God, Apostle. How was it? It was great. Um, I have a lot of confusions, things about my family and stuff like that. So. He spoke to me about all of that. I'm feeling very happy. I believe there is a change. What are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? I can tell them to give their life to Christ because he is the maker of everything. Mm 